Don and today we are going to the Philippines, a country so beautiful and fast growing yet so horribly underexposed in Singapore. That's right, here we are today at Bonifacio where there are so many gorgeous art pieces just decorating the walls of the place, sharing more about the history and culture of Philippines. Well, we are so excited to embark on this intriguing journey, let's venture. Let's go! So we have four different types of rice to start things off. Right here is the java, this is the adobo, this is the bagoong, and this is the garlic rice. Along with that, we have this first dish, the bagnet curry curry. It's basically deep fried pork belly with uh, peanut butter sauce. I really love the sauce because like, I'm a huge fan of peanut butter and this just like hit the spot in all the right places. <laughs> How about you? It was... I'm not that big a fan of peanut butter but it was really really good. I love the meat so much. Yeah, it's really tender and so sweet. Actually, I prefer the, the dish without the fondant because I feel that this takes away from the peanut butter. Mm -hmm. I don't think this is necessary because the crispy skin right of the top actually it's pretty salty. So with the peanut butter, it goes perfect. I think it's just for that like. In front of us, we have the fresh lumpia. It's crepe, right? Wrapping bamboo shoots, carrots, and French beans in like this spring roll style. And it's drizzled with a generous topping of lumpia sauce. So it looks really appetizing. <laughs> As I'm cutting into it, right? It feels very crunchy. So, how do you find the dish? I think it was really interesting. It was like spring roll style crepes. And the sauce is really interesting. Yeah, I really like the sauce. It's like a thick garlic sauce, right? Mm -hmm. Like, what I love about this dish is um, it's like so healthy. So in front of us, we have the dying bangos. It's basically a boneless milk fish accompanied with a side of um, tomatoes and green mangoes. So Dawn, are you looking forward to this dish? Uh, I suppose so, but it has no eyeballs. <laughs> So, if you watch our previous videos, right, Don has this thing for fish eyeballs. Unfortunately, this is the bone and the eyeball. So, <laughs> none for you. <laughs> Let's see in. So, this fish is actually from Philippines itself. So, it's like, I guess, flown to Singapore, especially for Bonifacio. And we're supposed to have it with this sauce. I think it's about vinegar and onions and chili. How is it? It's a bit really savoury mm. and it's sour as well. Mm. But I love the crispy bits the best. Mm. Do you hear the way it crackled when I cut into it? Oh my goodness. So we are finally done with our wonderful meal here at Bonifacio and in front of us we have their signature shakes. What do you have there, Don? Oh, I have here the buko shake. It's actually a fresh coconut shake. Well, for me, I had the Philippine mango shake and I opted for really sour and tangy I love it. You can tell. So anyway, tell me what was your favourite part about your whole experience here at Bonifacio? This place was really really done up beautifully. I love the decor. It is filled with so many wonderful paintings actually bringing the culture like right here, right into the restaurant. Yeah. And another favourite part was actually one of the dishes we had, which was the taro leaf. I didn't think like vegetables or rather taro leaves would like taste like that. The experience was really an eye-opening one. Like no one knows what Filipino food is mm -hmm. and no one knows what their culture is except for the Filipinos themselves. My favourite part would probably have to be the peanut butter dish. What? You came all the way here and all you can remember about your favourite part would be the peanut butter dish. Um, we've come to the end of our Filipino section uh, in our travel series and um, to find out where we're going next, be sure to stay tuned to our Facebook and Twitter. And we'll see you next time. Bye!